All right, the other day I did a review of the Cloud 149 HD frame, which is a larger, longer frame for the regular Cloud 149. And what I've done is I've taken the motors, the uh, stack, off of the old one, and I built it all up on this new HD one. So let me go back, go over a few of the particulars. So when it comes to the GoPro mount, I took one of these standard buckle mounts, I kind of shaved off the, the back half, and then I drilled holes exact width to tie into the front tubes. And it seems to work pretty good. See that there? The other thing I did is I went with a Runcam Phoenix 2 camera for the FTV. The stock camera that I had on here with the uh, that came originally was starting to act a little flaky. So I want a little bit better one. So I looked around the Runcam Phoenix is uh, one of the best ones out there so that one got installed on the back end here I had to put in a longer uh, battery cable no big deal there you also have to use a longer pigtail from your VTX uh, antenna mount to wherever the stack is so instead of the three inch one or I guess the five centimeter one put in the ten centimeter one and uh, you'll be good to go. <clears throat> I also, because I had trouble with the prior VTX, where the connector ripped out in a crash, I replaced that with an AKK uh, FX3 a VTX, and that seems to be working good. All right, let's put it on the scale. All right, the dry weight, 258. Put a uh, 1500 milliamp hour pack on there, 432. Throw on the GoPro, 556. All right, we're in the backyard here. I'll take it for a quick little flight. See how it turns out. All right, that went pretty successfully, no issues. Catch you later.